Gateway House of Prayer here tonight for our Wednesday night intercession set. You know, here at the Gateway House of Prayer, we want, we say this all the time, it's about worship and prayer together. And so we mesh worship and prayer together, but also we're worshiping and we're praying together. And so uh, tonight, those of you that are in the room and those of you online, we want you, we want to invite you to engage, to uh, add your amen, to lead out in prayer, to take initiative, to believe the Lord in the place of prayer, not just to be bystanders or listeners, but actually to join in and lift your hosanna, lift, lift your amen, lift your heart before the Lord in a real uh, energetic and intentional way. And so uh, tonight we're going to be worshiping the Lord, seeking Him in the place of prayer. We're just uh, glad you're with us. So I'm going to open in prayer. And uh, we're going to begin to worship the Lord. Father, we're grateful for your goodness. We're grateful for your kindness in our lives. We so appreciate the mercy of God that has been shed abroad in our hearts that we might be able to be turned to you and have our sins wiped away. Lord, we're so grateful tonight that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You brought us into your family. You put your spirit your Holy Spirit inside of us so that we would have the cry of our heart, Abba, Father. There'd be something new, something different inside of us by your great mercy and your great grace. And so tonight as we lift our voices in worship and praise, as we lift our voices in intercession, Lord, we want to partner with you. We want to partner with you in your holy purposes, Lord. We believe you have amazing ideas, thoughts, plans, purposes. We say with the ancients tonight, your kingdom come, your will be done. In St. Louis, just like it is in heaven. Lord, we say with the Lord Jesus who taught us that prayer, that you are our Father, you are in heaven, you are holy. And we want your kingdom to come, we want your will to be done here in St. Louis, God, and in our lives and our families and across the heartland here. So we commit this prayer time, this worship time into your hands. God, would you steer us by the activity of your Holy Spirit tonight? May we listen to you and follow you in praying and interceding and worshiping and praising. God, that your kingdom would come, your will would be accomplished. That's our longing. That's our desire, God. So we commit this time of worship and prayer into your hands now. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. 
let your word move in power. Let what's dead come to life, cause we are here for you. Cause we are here for you. Let us shout. So let
Let us shout out, bless you, Lord, with all our souls. Let all that's within us shout out. We let it shout out, and we bless you, Lord. And we shout out, we shout out, praise unto your name. It's praise unto your name. We came to bless you, Lord. came to bless you, Lord, a sweet, sweet fragrance, let this be a fragrance, a fragrance to your name, like a sweet, sweet incense, let it rise. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. There's no name that's higher. No name that's higher. So we bless your holy name. I bless your
Yes, Lord, we shout your name. We delight in you, Lord. We delight in the living God. We bless your mighty name. We praise you tonight. Lord, tonight, uh, just as we head into a time of intercession tonight, we want to focus a bit on the uh, both the prodigals and particularly the prodigals in the younger generation. And I want to read just a passage of Scripture in 1 Samuel, and then we're going to run over to Isaiah 49. 1 Samuel 22 says this, Everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented gathered him, I gathered to David, and he became the captain over them. And Lord, it occurs to me tonight that so many that have stepped back from their commitment to you, that have drawn back, God, from their relationship with you. Particularly in that younger generation, God, there's broken, shattered, marginalized lives, in debt, discouraged, discontented. God, maybe they're discontented with life. Maybe they're discontented with the church, God, but we... We just know, God, there's that struggle going on in this younger generation. Many of them are backslidden. Many of them are what we would call prodigals in this hour. And so, Lord, we want to lift them before you tonight. We invite you to lead us by your Holy Spirit as we pray. And those of you in the room, feel free to come up here in the front row and and, uh, join us in leading out in prayer. But I want to read in Isaiah 49 and pray from this passage. Verse 14, but Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child and have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, but I will not forget you. Behold, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. So Lord, I pray tonight for the the prodigals, Lord, the ones that have fallen back, particularly the young ones, God, deep in their hearts, they're just crying out, has God forgotten me? Or maybe they're accusing you that you did forget them. Lord, tonight, there's great searching of hearts amongst the backs, amongst the young ones. God, that, that maybe God doesn't exist, or maybe God exists, but he doesn't care about me anymore. And so tonight, God, I hold them before you, I pray. I invite you, God, according to Isaiah 49, you said that you couldn't forget them. You can't forget them, God. You said even a nursing mother, a, a, a nursing a nursing mom could maybe forget her child, but you could never forget. So tonight, Lord, we invite you to begin to break into the hearts of these discontented, discouraged, and in debt young people that have fallen away, God, and remind them that you would never forget them. You would never leave them. You would never forsake them. Lord, tonight I'm asking for massive numbers of young people, massive numbers of uh, of the backslid, God, in our metropolitan area. God, that they would hear the voice of the Lord tonight saying, I will not forget you. I will not forsake you. I will not leave you. So, Lord, we pray tonight for the revelation of your the revelation of your uh, steadfast commitment to them to be poured out upon these young ones. God, all over St. Louis tonight, wherever they might be, God, I'm asking you to remind them tonight, I will not forget you. I will not forget you. I will never cease having compassion on you. I will never forsake you. God, would you release light and life and revelation concerning your commitment to them, to the massive numbers of backslidden ones tonight. I ask you to do that, Father, in Jesus' name.
chase after the prodigals and open their eyes tonight. Precious to you, so Holy Spirit, run. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, run and open their eyes, open their hearts to you. Holy Spirit, run. Holy Spirit, run. Behold, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Lord, we just rejoice tonight that deeply embedded in your heart, your mind, your desires are for your young ones. God, those that have struggled. Verse 24, can the prey be taken from the mighty man? Or the captives of a tyrant be rescued? Surely, thus saith the, sayest the Lord, even the captives of the mighty man will be taken away. The prey of the tyrant will be rescued. For I will contend with the one who contends with you, and I will save your sons. Lord, tonight we recognize that it says there in Galatians 1 that, that this place, this world, lies in the hands of the evil one, God, and that you came to rescue us out of a present evil age. And it says here in Isaiah 49, Lord, that you'll contend with the powers, the principalities, the rulers of forces of wickedness in the heavenlies that are holding on to our young ones. They're holding on to the backslidden ones. Lord, you pose the question, can the prey be taken from the mighty man or the captives from the tyrant be rescued? And you said, surely, even the captives of the mighty man will be taken away. The prey of the tyrant will be rescued. So tonight, God, we invite you. We invite you to reach in and snatch away from the evil one. Hundreds and hundreds of young people tonight, God, that have backslidden, that have stepped away, that have stepped off, that have been disillusioned. God, tonight we declare your coming to reach and to pull them out. Your advancing work to pull them back, to rescue them, God, from the hand of the evil one to rescue them out of this present evil age. Lord, we cry out to you tonight. Reach deeply into the heart of the young people in this community, in this St. Louis area, God, and pull them away from the tyrant, from the evil one. Lord, you said that you would contend with the one who contends with us. So tonight, God, we, we welcome you to come and contend for the young ones, contend for the backslidden ones, contend for those in the clutches of the evil one tonight, God. The young ones, the backslidden ones all over St. Louis, Lord, would you do battle? Would you do battle on behalf of our young ones? Would you contend for those, God? Would you fight for those? Would you reach in and traumatize the evil one, God, and rescue the young ones? We invite the thundering hand of God into the younger community tonight to rescue hundreds and hundreds of young people in our area. We trust you to do that in Jesus' name.
shall worship because the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, He has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, in an acceptable time I heard you in the day of salvation. I have helped you. I will preserve you and give you as a covenant to the people to restore the earth, to cause them to inherit the desolate heritages that you say to the prisoners, go forth. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed among the roads, and their pastures shall be on all desolate heights. They shall neither hunger nor thirst, nor heat, nor sun shall strike them. For he who has mercy on them will lead them. By the springs of the water, he will guide them. I will make each of my mountains a road. My, mount, my highway shall be elevated. Surely these shall come from afar. Look, from the north, from the west, and those from the land of Shun. Oh, sing, O oh heavens, be joyful, O oh the earth. Break out in singing, O oh mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy on his own. Who's never met? 
earth as in heaven. You're made for love. You're made for freedom. You're made for love. Wipe every tear away. Throw away the chains. Wipe every tear away. Throw away the shackles. Give them life. Life today, break every chain, every chain, it's gonna break all the chains, wipe every tear away, it's gonna wipe every tear from your face, break every chain, it's gonna break all the chains, wipe every tear Wipe every tear. It's just that faithful. Set them free. Wipe every tear. Set them free. It's love. Wipe every tear. Give them the victory. Break every chain. verses 7 and 8 says though I am surrounded by troubles you will protect me from the anger of my enemies you reach out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me the Lord will work out his plans for my life for your faithful love O Lord endures forever do not abandon me for you made me God, as I just think about faces of friends and peers and even friends of younger siblings, Lord, who are younger than me, God, who for whatever reason, the hurdles were just too tall. God, and they were running with us. They were running with me. They were running with siblings. They were running with friends, Lord they fell away or they just couldn't overcome those hurdles, Lord. God, we just ask, Lord, that you would reignite this type of prayer that David prayed to you so long ago, Lord, where he's, even though the hurdles were too much, God, even though he didn't know where the answers were, God, that he continued to pray the prayer because he believed that you were faithful and that eventually the hurdles would be overcome, even if it took 40 years or however long it was before the promises and, and the security and the safety came to pass, Lord. God, I pray for my friends, for my peers, God, for those specific faces that come across my mind, Lord. God, that just feel like they can't do it, Lord, and in some ways even just given up on praying. Maybe they never even really understood, Lord, God, that it was your battle to win, not theirs, Lord. But God, I ask, Lord, even if they can't pray it themselves, God, we pray it from St. Louis. God, I pray over Jacksonville, Illinois tonight, Lord. God, I pray over St. Louis, Lord, and I pray, God, the prayer of David for them, Lord. God, that you would protect them from the wicked things that are attacking them, God. God, that you would reach out your hand the power of your right hand would save them, Lord. God, we know that your plans for their life are faithful and true. And even though they know it and or they might not believe it, it doesn't matter, Lord God. You are faithful and true. God, and I love this ending, Lord. It says, don't abandon me, Lord. Don't abandon me, God, in the darkness when it's 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock at night. They're trying to fall asleep and they can't do it. God, because of thoughts in their minds or just frustration in their heart, Lord God. God, you made them. Do not abandon me, God, because you made me, Lord. God, I pray for Trey Brown tonight. God, I pray for Trey Brown tonight and all the other Trey Browns, God, that we all know, Lord. 
God, you made him. Do not abandon him, Lord. God, I ask that you would push new life into his heart, into his soul. God, remind him of who he is, Lord. God, that the hurdles aren't too big for you, Lord. God, that you are surrounding him in front and behind, beneath and above, Lord Jesus. God, we ask for an encouragement of the Holy Spirit, God, into these kids' bedrooms, Lord, as they go to sleep tonight, Lord. God, that they would have faith and trust, Lord, to pray the prayers, God, that maybe they've been praying for a long time, Lord. But God, we ask for breakthrough in their lives, Lord. God, we ask for power in their lives, Lord, to even pray bold prayers. God, to do things that they've never done before, to search you out in ways that they've never done, God, that they would be overcomers if you've called them to be, that they would be overcomers as you've called them to be, that they would be overcomers, Lord.
where your presence is, but they don't want to touch it. God, would you let them see how good you really are? Would you awaken love in their heart for you like they've never encountered? God, would you open their ears to hear you once again? Open their eyes to see you. Let them taste and see that the Lord is good. You're willing to forgive. You're abundant in loving kindness. God, let them, as they lay their heads on pillows tonight, God, be stirred once again to love. That they would hear you beckoning them back once again. You are good, God, and your loving kindness endures forever. Justice do me escapes the notice of my God. Lord, so many of these young ones feel like some sort of disappointment or distrust or the thought that what you know what they thought was supposed to happen didn't happen. God, and they think their way is hidden from you. God, they are accusing you or in brokenness just asking this question. My way is hidden from the Lord, and the justice do me escapes the notice of my God. Your response, Lord, you said, do you not know? Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth? He does not become weary or tired. His understanding is inscrutable. He gives strength to the weary. 
And to him who lacks might, he increases power. Though youths grow weary and tired and vigorous young men stumble badly, yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. Lord, tonight I'm praying for all of those that have an accusation in their heart against you. God, the young ones that have stepped off, they've stepped away. They think you ignored them. They think you let them down. God, they think, you know, many things along those lines. And, and, and their circumstances went sideways. Their circumstances went badly. Maybe they were even injured by someone or some parts of your body. Lord, I'm crying out to you tonight that just the candle of the Lord would be restoked in them just a bit. It says here, God, you, your response was, don't you know, haven't you heard? I'm here. I will lift you up. I will carry you. I will, I will bring you on. I will bring you fresh strength. I will bring you fresh understanding. I will bring you fresh ability. And so, Lord, tonight I call upon the great God of heaven, the Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and I say tonight, God, those for those that are weary, God, they still have a little bit of heart, a little bit of hope inside of them. God, I pray tonight, oh God of creation, oh God of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cry out to you tonight. God, strengthen the young ones. God, strengthen the backslidden ones that feel like they have no strength. Strengthen those young ones that feel like they've tried 10 times, God. Help them try out an 11. Those ones that feel like, man, I gave it to him. I gave it to him. I gave it to him, but they, but they didn't see the response or whatever the reason. God, I'm asking you tonight, strengthen them. God, it says that you give strength to the weary. God, you lift up the downtrodden. And so tonight we pray for those prodigals, for those young prodigals tonight. God, you who does not ever grow weary, would you bring strength to those that have just worn out. God, they've worn out their faith. They've worn out their attempts. They've worn out their hope. You who does not grow weary, Lord, I'm crying out to you tonight. Give strength to the weary. To him who lacks might, increase power. God, though they are have grown weary and tired, God, I pray tonight that they would gain new strength. Lord, I'm asking you to do that tonight in miraculous ways. I'm inviting you to do that, God, all over this city for the young prodigals that have walked away. God, and I'm asking you tonight for a return on this prayer time. I'm asking you to, for us to actually behold, actually to see the ones that come streaming back to your house, the ones that come streaming back to your family, the ones that come streaming back to the altar of prayer. So we seek you tonight, God, for the weary ones, that you would cause them to gain new strength. Trusting you to do that tonight, Father, in Jesus' name. You're giving strength to the weary. Bring them strength tonight. You're giving hope to the hopeless. Fill them with your hope. They are not hidden, they are seen, and they are loved. They Release your hope in Jesus' name. Come release. 
Just one chief in two men's perfect And one main reason for existence And all men's and high ambition And one day be brought home One day be brought home 
Tell me what 
never stop working. We worship you. We worship you. We worship the one who's always working. They're always working. Working all things after the counsel of your will. Causing all things to work together for good for those that love you. Work. God, we're so grateful for that time. Acts 10 38 says, You know of Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Lord, tonight we know that Jesus, you're still in that business of going about healing delivering, setting free. You're always working. We worship you tonight. We worship you, Almighty God. Each night we finish with a time of prayer just for our, we have ministries that we partner with and pray for. And just before we close, we want to pray for, um, for the 10 days of prayer coming up at the end of September. The organization called One City One is leading it. And just briefly, we say, Lord, would you bless our friends at One City One? As they organize, they mobilize people to gather for 10 days of prayer. Well, we're grateful for people that would rally the church to prayer. We're grateful for people that would organize and work and labor and do the hard work of organization and calling and all of that so that people would gather to pray. So we pray your blessing upon them, God, wisdom, strategies, the favor of God, the blessing of God, your presence. God, I don't know if it takes any money to do what they're doing, but give it to them. We ask your blessing upon them, God. We know that there's a, a partnership in, in, in between heaven and earth. God, we pray. Uh, you, you move us to pray. You answer those prayers as you're working as you're always working. You're working on us. You're working in things and circumstances and situations. I'm so grateful to you tonight, God, for a time to worship you, a time to seek your face. Well, for years and years, Lord, I remember just crying out to you, God, where are people that would pray? And Lord, you've allowed me to find a tribe that will pray. So, Lord, I don't take this lightly, God, that we can take hours on end and days on end to seek you, to cry out, to see your kingdom come and your will be done. I'm so grateful. Father, I ask your blessing upon all those that have been in this place with us uh, any time during the day, today and tonight. Any of the people, God, that have been on with us online, day or night, I ask your blessing upon these beautiful saints, Lord, that have led us tonight, steered us toward your heart. God, what a gift it is to have people that can steer us, can lead us, can point us in the right direction. I pray your blessing upon them, those other folks that I just mentioned. Now, God, bless them, bless them. Answer the cries of their hearts. Got so many that come in and out of here and so many that watch online, carrying burdens, desires, longings for your purposes to come about or loved ones they're concerned about. We pray God answer their prayers. Meet them, partner with them in those holy things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, the house of prayer is open again tomorrow night. Um, between 6 and 9, I believe it is, and uh, we welcome you to join us then. Bless you.